2016. This is a competitive examination taken by millions of students every year in India. This was the 2016, February 2016 Computer Science Information Technology paper, a question on the theory of computation. Here is the problem. Question 18. Consider the following types of languages, formal languages. L1 is a regular set. L2 is a context language. L3 is a recursive set. L4 is a recursively enumerable language. Which one of the following statements is true? One, two, three, four, four statements are given. First statement deals with L3, which is recursive. L4, which is recursively enumerable. Two deals with L2, quantity three. And L3 with the recursive. Three deals with L1, which is a regular set, and L2, which is context free. Four deals with L1, which is regular, and L2, which is context free. There are four depending on the closure properties of context free languages. The fourth choice is A, B, C, D. The examiner says one is correct, and is ensure that three are wrong. From a cursory glance at the question, we see it's a multiple choice question. So, examiner is very clever. He has taken the trouble to see one answer is correct and three answers are wrong. So let's look at the question again. Here is the question. What can we say about the question? So, you can see, for example, we have closer properties of regular set which are very well behaved. Close to the union intersection complement. Context free languages are close to the union, but not in the intersection or complement. Recursive sets are close to the union intersection and complement. Recursive animal sets are close to the union intersection, but not under complement. To look at the question again, we see these the closure properties of the common languages. Now we know from previous papers we look out for properties of TFS. So the question asked every year. On the properties of context free languages, which are close to the union but not close to the complement or intersection. The complement of a CFL is a CSL. And, but however, a CFL and CSL are both recursive and recursively enumerable. The closure of a CFL is necessarily a CFL. Now, consider the question again. Here is a question. Now, let's see, where does the complement of a context free language occur? It occurs here, L2 complement, it occurs here, L2 complement. Now, if you look at the question again and see, choice A depends on 1, choice B on 1 and 3, choice C on 1 and 4, D depends on 1, 2 and 3. So let us see 2 which stands out. What stands out? Choice, choice D stands out because the only choice which has case 2 in it. Now there were choice 2, what does choice 2 say? L2 is a context free language. Complement is not context free language, but recursive. L3 is recursive. Union of two recursive sets recursive. So union is recursive. So 2 is 2. 2 is a true statement. Now we determine that 2 must be true. So choice D must be correct as so only choice which has 2. So D is the answer. We did not even read the question completely. It is the strength of the examiner against himself. One choice is correct and the rest are wrong. This is what is called the David and Goliath story. It's called the IP equals P space theorem. If you have something where one is correct and many are wrong, it only takes a polynomial amount of time to solve the problem. To, put, to create the problem, must have taken an exponential amount of time. And the presentation, thank you very much for your kind attention.